So one of the things I like to do is use different intervals, sometimes wider intervals. There's two reasons I do that. Uh, to me, it it kind of uh, it kind of gets a little bit of a departure from just a traditional guitar sound. You know, if I just like. <laughs> I th there's something about it. it's, it's almost like a violin or a classical thing or a pianistic thing instead of just which is like Cliffs of Dover which I'm, you know, I was like I didn't do it on Cliffs of Dover I don't know why but uh, yeah so it, it's just it's just a different approach um, that I just think sounds sounds really kind of nice and once again it's just running through the same intervals if I was to play just spreading it out. So I'm just, just fanning out those, those intervals to just kind of make it, uh, you know, a little different. So another reason I like to use uh, wide intervals sometimes because the string sound. You're going to get a totally different sound. A lot of times hitting certain notes real hard and um, uh, dominant on the G third because it's a plain string doesn't quite sound right to me. It's a lot because of, you know, uh, single coil pickups, but I like the sound of or, or even up here sound different. But they all sound different than the way that sounds. It kind of quiver. It's kind of, I can't control the uh, the solidarity as much. There's nothing wrong with the G string, obviously, but I, if it's a note that I've got to really, I'm going to like it better than maybe, uh, but if you're in a, a, a passage, you don't have a choice sometimes. But if I have a choice, sometimes I will pick the certain... The string and I'll, I'll make a big jump that I don't need to but to me it sounds better so sometimes it comes back to the picking the fretting the note selection uh, the note position on the strings all these things to me they're they're paramount because the most important thing is to try to create for me is to create a beautiful sound as I can you know and it doesn't always work especially with electronic gear you know you're already dealing with a bit of a a wild um, thing, but to me, that's you know, it's I from when I first heard, um, you know, all the great players, all the great blues players, and and uh, Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton, and 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 all the wonderful players, um, just the sound they got. And then I remember the first time I heard Wes Montgomery, it's like three notes. It's like, oh man, I want to listen to that. It just, it drew drew me in. So to me, one of the paramount things is just to to create. A, a, a sonic, um, try to create a sonic beauty to it. And so if I have to compromise certain things, for me, that's, that's I don't mind doing that, you know.